this Brandy Zadronzi, uh, she continued, because you gotta find somebody to blame. When bad people do things, what you gotta do is you gotta figure out a way to blame the people you don't like. And of course, that's always gonna involve Tucker Carlson. And in this case, uh, there's the famous Twitter account, unsuspended now, libs of TikTok. Brandy, explain that when you hear that, your reaction to it, and then kind of walk us through how, how rhetoric online, rhetoric from politicians can ultimately trickle down into real life and seeing examples of what happened over the weekend. If there is a pipeline. It starts from some smaller accounts online, like libs of TikTok. It moves to the right-wing blogosphere, and then it ends up on Tucker Carlson, or it ends up out of a right-wing politician's mouth. And it's a really dangerous cycle. Bananas. These people are so bananas. So... For those of you that don't know how the internet works, people post all sorts of things, and then people start talking about all sorts of things and sharing all sorts of things. And then, yes, occasionally they do trickle up when there's enough people talking about a certain thing or enough people have exposed a certain thing or shared video of something. Uh, then it might get to, say, a Tucker Carlson. And Tucker Carlson might go, boy, that is awfully interesting. The libs of TikTok account, by the way, they do not instigate hate. They have never, as I have seen it, is run by a woman who has since been doxxed by, by many quote-unquote journalists. They, she never says, go hurt these people. She never, I don't even think she says these people are evil or anything to that effect. She basically reposts their posts. So all of these trans teachers and these gender queer, asexual, penis vagina teachers, they go make their own videos. The penis vagina teachers, <laughs> that's what the, in seventh grade when I took health, that's what they, we called them. Uh, <laughs> they put their own videos, usually crying in their cars, uh, talking about how they're trying to indoctrinate these kids. They usually don't say the word indoctrination, but they say we're trying to teach these kids about gender and sexuality and fluidity and blah, blah, blah. And then they post them on TikTok or wherever it might be. And then all she does is repost them. That's what she does. So if anything, she's acting as a journalist. Oh, here's a person saying a certain something. I'm just showing people what it is. Okay, so that's just how it is. But you see, this is another reason why they're so upset by the Elon Musk thing, because little accounts share things and then it gets to big Tucker Carlson and we can't have little people sharing the truth because little people are the fertilizer for the thing that grows and that's Tucker Carlson.